This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, the Data Tools Unit, Lesson 13, Importing and Exporting Data, Puzzle 4, Remixing Apps That Use Data. Let's say you want to remix a classmate's app to add some cool new features. Woohoo! Uh, you can do this by clicking the Remix button at the top of your screen. Clicking the Remix button creates your own copy of the app so that you can make changes and add things without affecting the original app. This is common in programming. If you were to fork a program, right, to split it off, take your own copy, and then change it up. Um, yeah, especially with open source stuff. Remixing an app copies over all the code and design elements of the original app. But what happens to the data? Bum, 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 bum. Do this. Run this app and see what it prints to the console. Yep. Open the data viewer and see what the records store. People's names. Yep, with their age. Okay. Now, by clicking Remix, the button at the top of your screen, way up here, note, uh, Remix that by clicking. This will take you out of this stage and bring you to a more freeform version of App Lab. Go run the Remix version of the app. See what prints to the console. Look around in the data viewer. And then come back here. We'll talk about what happened in next level. Remix. Okay. Same code. Cool. Run. Zero records. Oh, that seems problematic. Ah, no data was sent over. Okay. Huh. And they were saying that the design would copy and then the actual code, but the data isn't. I wonder if we could download it with CSV. Maybe that's what they're going to tell us. Let's, uh, I'm going to close this. All right. Let's check out, um, how they think we should fix it. Onward.